I don't know why I kept holding out hope that Hillary was going to be indicted. The mounting evidence seemed impossible to ignore, and I thought that she might have been backed into a corner, but this was probably willful blindness. But my minimal faith in our government and judicial system has now been completely eliminated since the FBI declared that her lack of intent, which is easily disproved, um, absolves her of this. So for a self-proclaimed feminist, Hillary sure doesn't have a problem playing the dumb woman card. And just with like a common sense analysis, we can all see that she would absolutely be aware of the illegality of something like this. She's a distinguished graduate of Yale Law School. She served on five Senate committees and she was the Secretary of State who would obviously be aware of basic security measures followed by all government employees. If she was not, which seems impossible, she would have been informed by somebody on her giant staff. So why would she do this? It seems like bravado to me to think that this would never have any ramifications, although here we are. <laughs> Yet I know that she was not ignorant to the consequences. So the obvious assertion here is that she was sending messages that she did not want to be government property, uh, which are subject to freedom of information requests. All government communication is their property in perpetuity for all government officials, and everyone knows this. If she had a server that was not subject to government regulations, she knew that if she faced any legal consequences, she could hand her server to her lawyers, which had mixed private and government messages on them. Attorneys aren't gonna read all of them. Um, they would just keyword search, and she knew this. So the FBI said yesterday, <clears throat> the lawyers doing the sorting for Secretary Clinton in 2014 did not individually read the content of all of her emails as we did for those available to us. Instead, they relied on header information and used search terms to try to find all work-related emails among the reportedly more than 60,000 total emails remaining on Secretary Clinton's personal system in 2014. So Clinton and her lawyers handed over to the State Department 30,000 emails that they said were business related. Um, and they said that the personal emails were deleted. Comey said that in this process, it is, quote, likely that there are other work related emails that they did not produce that are now gone because they deleted all the emails they did not return to the state and the lawyers clean their devices. The FBI obviously could not recover these. She knew that if she had a private server, or better yet, a diversified network of private servers, it would be considerably more difficult to extract the email communication that she wanted to remain private. Uh, when they are amongst tens of thousands of other emails, and they will only be keyword searched. So I guarantee that she used clever header information and unusual language in the body of the email, and that she also had a massive amount of trivial email communication in order to further convolute this search. So despite her duplicity, the FBI said the key here is that investigators found no intent to break the law. Comey discussed similar cases, but said they've been based on, quote, clearly intentional and willful mishandling of classified information, or, quote, indications of disloyalty to the United States. I don't even know where to start as far as Hillary's disloyalty to the United States is concerned. That could be a several hour segment in and of itself. But Comey, did later concede that uh, there is evidence that they were extremely careless in their handling of very sensitive, highly classified information. Yet none of this qualifies for willful mishandling of classified information, none of it. So we know that at least 110 emails in 52 email chains were classified at the time they were sent. Of those, we also know that eight email chains contained top secret information uh, and 36 contained secret information. And the FBI also said um, that none of these emails should have been on any kind of unclassified system. So they knew that this was terribly wrong. The FBI is also fully aware that hackers gain access to all of her communications, which the FBI wasn't even able to do. So Comey said that it's impossible that hostile actors gain uh, access to Clinton's personal email account. She also used her personal email extensively while outside of the United States including sending and receiving work-related emails in territory of sophisticated adversaries. Oh my God. No indications of disloyalty to the United States. Oh my God. He also said that while no direct evidence was found that Clinton's email was hacked, which is nonsense, they are aware that other people that she corresponded with during the time frame in question were hacked and that everybody knew that she was using a private uh, email system. So they did know that she was hacked. They're just lying to us. 
So this isn't willful mishandling of classified information. Despite the FBI being totally aware that they had not seen all the communication, as well as having the information that she used multiple unprotected servers and mobile devices all over the world, even in enemy territory. I looked through HuffPo articles from the last few weeks uh, to see what they are truly concerned with. If you don't give a shit about national security, what is so important? Seriously, what are you talking about? What? There were articles about creating a new logo for gender neutral bathrooms. There was a political cartoon depicting Trump as Hitler. There was a slideshow about Trump's hair through the ages. There was also an article about the racial wage gap. That's fucking nonsense. As well as a link to an article about how a former employee knows that Trump is anti-Semitic. Which here's a little uh, taste of that. <laughs> I just have to read. But deny or play dumb as you might, when I tweeted out my response, my worst fears were realized. His message, whether purposeful or inadvertent, was met with cheers by those to whom the star's message was certainly clear. Mr. Trump's tweet was seen as a winking promise to this nation's worst and most hateful individuals. They're talking about the tweet with the uh, Star of David on it, which it was just a sheriff's badge. So the left is not just willing, but exceedingly enthusiastic about characterizing Trump based on thoughtless tweets, and then faulting him for all subsequent reactions because of the implication of what, of what he did. In the meantime, they're up the ass of a candidate that allowed our most sensitive and top secret information to be literally delivered into the hands of our enemies. Are you kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? Hillary cannot be president. It will be the last nail in the coffin for the West. And it's our responsibility to make sure that this doesn't happen. So I'll leave you with this. It is hidden camera footage from 2000 where Hillary admits that she is aware that government email is subject to investigation and she says she stopped using it. A few years later, she realized that she could just put it on a few home servers.